Meghan Markle and Prince Harry may be competing with royal couple Kate and Prince William through Instagram as the pair coincidentally made headlines for events that clashed on the same day. Royal commentator Chris Shipp explains some fans are convinced the royal couples are competing against each other for popularity. But although it appears the couples are fighting for the spotlight they may just want to highlight issues that they deem important, he said. The ITV royal editor, I want to return to this idea of social media and where mainstream media and traditional media can fit into that. We have seen this week with the Chelsea Flower Show and Meghan and Harry released a video on Instagram of a year's anniversary and lovely pictures of their wedding. Then the Cambridges have all their children out in force looking gorgeous and Charles and Camilla were in Ireland not getting so much attention. Your job isn't getting easier it is getting harder. Mr. Ship replied, look at last Sunday it happened to be the first anniversary of Harry and Meghan. It also happened to be the start of the Chelsea Flower Show and Kate had designed this garden and it was all about getting kids outside. The fact that Kate let her three children be filmed in the garden shows her how much she wanted to bring attention to this issue and give it that publicity. But then you have got people saying look they are competing against one another. One is trying to show off their wedding photos on Instagram another is trying to get on the front pages by getting their kids out. We've got lovely wedding pictures, you have got three beautiful kids. Earlier in the interview, Mr. Ship labeled Meghan Markle and Prince Harry as disruptors in the royal family by attempting to break royal traditions. However, he added it was a good thing to be a disruptor in the monarchy. He said, if you are going to introduce an element of difference into the royal family you are always going to rub up against some opposition somewhere. I think the courtiers are slightly different from what they used to be in the sort of 30s and 40s, they are not all ex-military, they are not all white and from private school anymore. I think that level of disruption is actually quite good, because the royal family does have to move.